Good morning and happy Tuesday. Welcome to Storytime and Inspiration with Crew. We're happy to spend time with your families, um, even if it's in this digital format. We miss you so much and wish we could be with you in person, but thanking God for this opportunity. Hope that you had a wonderful morning so far and we're able to start your day with um, our school prayer as we start every day at Our Lady of Good Counsel and pray that the remainder of your day um, you are just blessed with God's um, kindness and love and that you guys are able to do your very best with your learning today and um, and are able to find ways in which to spread God's love throughout your family today. All right, we have a book to share with you, but before we begin reading, let's begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Pray, would you like to pray with us? God, we thank you so much for the gift of today. We thank you for each breath that you have given us. We ask for your healing upon our country and upon our world right now. We ask you, Lord, to bless our families and protect us and continue to be our strength, continue to be our hope, and continue to bring us peace within our homes. We thank you for all the ways that we're able to remain connected as a school family and ask for your blessings upon us. As we look outside and see new creation, we know that um, your resurrection is what we are fixing our eyes on. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for um, being able to spend eternity with you and creating us in order to spend um, eternity with you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Why am I here? Sweet. This is a story about becoming the best version of yourself. The boy's name was Max. He was just old enough to start thinking about life's big questions. On weekends, Max's grandpa often took him fishing. Max liked being on the lake. It was quiet and peaceful. But most of all, Max loved spending time with his grandpa. One Saturday, they arrived at the lake, threw their lines into the water, and waited. They talked for a while about school and baseball, and then Max asked, Grandpa, can I ask you a question? Fire away, kiddo, Grandpa replied. Why am I here? Max inquired. To go fishing, his grandpa said with a big smile. No, Grandpa, Max chuckled as he cast his line again. Seriously, what is life really about? Why am I here? Grandpa smiled his all-knowing smile. What a wonderful question, Max. Many people live their whole life and never ask that question, and yet it is the most important question. Max sat listening carefully to what his grandpa was saying. To help us both to understand your question, Max, let me ask you a few questions. Fire away, Max giggled. What do you know about birds? Grandpa asked. They have wings, Max replied, and they fly. Very good, but do they bark? No, Grandpa, don't be silly. Birds don't bark. Dogs bark, Max said. Excellent. Now tell me, what are birds good at being? Birds are good at being birds, right? Max responded, a little unsure of himself. Exactly, Grandpa continued. A bird doesn't try to be a fish or a lion. It just enjoys being the best bird it can be. Okay, Max, I have another one for you. What is a fish good at being? A fish is good at being a fish, Max exclaimed with much more confidence. Exactly. A fish doesn't try to be a bird or an elephant. It just tries to be the best fish it can be in every moment of every day. But what does all this have to do with me, Grandpa? Well, Max, if a fish is good at being a fish and a bird is good at being a bird, then you, Max, are good at being Max. You are not here to be Michael or Hannah or Will. You are here to be you. 
I guess it would be pretty boring if we were all the same, Grandpa. That's exactly right, Max. And we are happiest when we are being ourselves. Imagine how unhappy a bird would be if it spent its whole life trying to be a fish. It wouldn't matter how hard that boy, bird tried, it would never be good at being a fish. A bird will always fail when it tries to be a fish. Imagine how miserable an elephant would be if it tried to be a giraffe. An elephant will always fail when it tries to be a giraffe. And you and I, Max, will always fail if we try to be someone other than who we are, Grandpa continued. Now, getting back to your question, why are you here? You are here to become the best version of yourself. As they sat fishing quietly, Max thought to himself, I am here to be the best Max I can be. After Max had some time to think about all this, Grandpa continued, Sometimes, Max, we do things that help us become the best version of ourselves, and sometimes we do things that don't. This week, I want you to pay close attention to the choices you make. Now that we have had this conversation, you'll start to notice moments every day when you have to make a choice. And hopefully, you will start making the choices that help you become the best version of yourself. Max, if you're ever confused about whether or not you should do something, just ask yourself, will this help me become the best version of myself? Crew, I don't think you're making a choice. It's making you the best version of yourself right now. <laughs> now, why are you here, Grandpa quizzed Max, to become the best version of myself? He answered with a smile. It made sense to him. Grandpa put another worm on his line, threw it back into the water. At that very moment, Max felt a tug on his line. On Monday morning when Max was helping his mother pack his lunch, he wanted to fill his lunch box with candy and potato chips, but he remembered the conversation with Grandpa and wondered to himself, what can I eat that will help me become the best version of myself? Max really wanted the candy and potato chips, but he knew an apple and a sandwich would help to make him the best version of himself. So Max decided to have an apple and a sandwich for lunch. At school, Max's teacher, Miss Lauren, asked the class what they had done over the weekend. Max raised his hand and when she called on him, he stood up and said, I went fishing with my grandpa and learned about why I am here. Why are you here, Max? His teacher asked. To become the best version of myself, Max replied. What a wonderful discovery, Miss Lauren exclaimed as she turned to write. Become the best version of yourself across the top of the chalkboard. After lunch during art class, Jimmy took Max's markers. Miss Lauren asked, Jimmy, are you being the best version of yourself? Jimmy looked at Miss Lauren and sheepishly then turned to Max, gave back his markers, and apologized. After school, Max didn't feel like doing his homework. He really wanted to watch TV, but as he sat down and reached for the remote, he thought to himself, which will, which will help me become the best version of myself, doing my homework or watching TV? Max decided to do his homework. It was difficult to focus, but when he was finished, he felt good. I'm glad he decided to be proactive. The next morning, the first thing Miss Lauren did was ask the class, why are you here? Ellie raised her hand and when she was called on said, to become the best version of myself. Miss Lauren asked Jake next and he replied, to become the best version of myself. Then Miss Lauren asked the whole class and they cried out together, to become the best version of myself. Fantastic, Miss Lauren applauded them. Let's make sure to remember that throughout the day. Then she asked the students to give examples of how they were becoming the best version of themselves. Hands shot up all over the classroom. Max's classmates were excited to share about how they were becoming the best versions of themselves. After school on Tuesday, Max went shopping with his mother. He saw a new video game at the store and asked his mother if he could have it. Max's mother looked at it and said, it seems very violent, Max. Remember your conversation with Grandpa? Do you think it will help if you become the best, do you think it will help you become the best version of yourself? 
Max realized that even though all of his friends had the new video game, maybe it wasn't the best choice for him. He really wanted the video game, but he wanted to be the best version of himself even more. You are right, Mom, he said as he put the video game back on the shelf. When they got home, Max's dad was sitting on the couch watching football and eating an enormous bag of potato chips. Is that becoming, is that helping you become the best version of yourself, Dad, Max asked, and giggled as he grabbed his helmet and went outside to ride his bike with his friends. At school on Friday, Max was tired of waiting in line at the drinking fountain and pushed Hannah to get to the front of the line. Miss Lauren saw him do this and asked, Max, was that the best version of yourself? No, Miss Lauren, Max replied, then turning to Hannah, he helped her pick up her things and said, I'm sorry for pushing you, Hannah. That was selfish and mean of me. I won't do it again. After school, Max was thirsty. He felt like a cola, but he thought to himself, water's better for me. It will help me become the best version of myself. So he drank a big glass of cold water. It was refreshing and filled Max with energy. After dinner, Max cleared the table with his mother and then helped his little sister put her toys away. While he was doing it, he came to a wonderful realization. Whenever I do the things that help me become the best version of myself, I feel really good inside. I guess Grandpa was right. I am happiest when I am trying to be the best Max I can be. As Max climbed into bed that night, he made a list in his mind of all the things he had said and done that helped him become the best version of himself. I thanked my mom for making me breakfast, worked hard in school, ate healthy food, tried my best at baseball practice. When I felt like being lazy, drank plenty of water, did my chores without being asked, helped my little sister put away her toys. Max felt proud and joyful about his list. Then Max made a list of the things he had said and done that day that didn't help him become the best version of himself. It's a really good thing to do at night. I like the way that he started with the things that he did to glorify God. And then he started to do just an examination of his conscience of all the things that he could do better and to ask God for forgiveness. I talked to Jamal in class while Miss Lauren was speaking, pushed Hannah at the water fountain, ate too many cookies, and told a lie to my parents. As he thought about this list, Max felt disappointed to himself and himself. He didn't like feeling this way, so he decided he would try harder the next day. He also decided that from that night on, he would think about his day each night before he went to sleep. Max drifted off to sleep with a smile on his face thinking, I'm not perfect, but I am better today than I was yesterday and every day in every way. I am working on becoming the best version of myself. The end. What an awesome book. And isn't that what God asks of us each and every day? To become the best versions of ourselves, who he created us to be. We're not perfect. Just like Max, we're going to have that list of the things that we did that glorified God. And we're always going to have that list of how we fell short. But we know that each and every day we can become better and better. And that's what God wants for us. And he gives us the, the strength to do that. Today, I challenge you to do things, make choices um, with your words and with your actions that help you become the best version of yourself. And then I ask you to do what Max did when he went to bed um, at night. Do that tonight. Make sure that you spend some time reflecting and talking to God about your day the things that you did to become the best version of yourself, as well as the things that you're going to try harder to do tomorrow. And I have a, have a song I want you guys to listen to because um, we've been listening to a lot of praise songs here at the Hunt House. And there's a song that this book reminds me of, and you should find it. Either ask Alexa to play it for you or find it on YouTube. It's called You Keep On Getting Better by Maverick City Music. It's a really good one. I love it, and I think you guys will too. All right, one day left for our Lenten challenge. So make sure, even if you haven't joined yet, it's not too late. Join. It's a lot of fun just to look at the feed and see all the great things that are happening happening amongst our school family. And I look forward to connecting with you on the Goose Chase app. And we will see you back for story time and inspiration with Crew. Crew gave up with his bed, but here he is. He can say bye. Come say bye. Oh, come say bye.
Come say bye, crew. This is his toy that he got at Christmas that he still really likes. Come on, crew. Come on, crew. Come say bye. He wants to play now. He wants to play. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> you gonna, there we go. He gave you a bark. <laughs> bye. I know you're